So San Diego Unified students get to wake up a little later on this first day back to school. 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie live in Paradise Hills. Mary, the district testing out some later start times at a few schools this year. Exactly. Three schools are going to give this a try this year. Start times between 835 and 905. They're calling it healthy start times next year. All 16 of the high schools in the district will be on this later plan. Thanks to a lot of science behind this that the district has been looking at for several years. Cindy Martin just got here. And we were joking about how unfair it is to have morning news people talking about later and healthier start times when <laughs> we've so been healthy. out here for hours. I know not so healthy, but tell me what you guys have uncovered as far as how this is going to help high High school students going forward well as an adult you're used to it and you can get up <laughs> early but what we know about high school students and brain development is that they actually need the later start time that's why we're calling it healthier start time the brain chemistry and the things that make them ready to learn need they need a little extra time in the morning and the first time we started looking at it we started saying well just make them go to bed earlier they can't. Doesn't work. That's not the way it works. It's not about having better bedtime routines at home or making sure you put a hard stop at bedtime. It just doesn't work that way. It's not the way the brain chemistry works. So we know the science is behind it. American Academy of Pediatrics research is behind it as well as other organizations and it was just indisputable. So Tell me how you handle parent schedules and busing as you move from three schools this year to all 16 by next year. That's a big challenge. That's why we're piloting it this year and we've got uh, Mira Lynn's at Middle School and La Jolla High School and then here is School of Creative and Performing Arts. These three schools help us test drive literally and figuratively mm -hmm. how we're going to do this with the busing and transportation and getting lots of feedback. We need to give parents a long runway on this because because we know it can significantly change parent and family schedules, work schedules, all of that. Sure. But when you have a whole year to prepare for it, this school, uh, the pilots this year had last year to prepare yeah. for it. And parents ultimately understand the science. Mm -hmm. They cannot argue it. So we can get into a yeah. debate about how we have to change our schedules and make things different. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we want our students ready to learn and to have optimal brain learning conditions in the classroom and you just can't yeah. dispute the evidence. So we'll figure out the how, but we certainly understand the why. And as parents, we know how that works. All right, Absolutely. excellent. So Absolutely. they're going to give this a try here. Start times will be 835 and 905, and then they will roll it out to all of the high schools by next year. Congratulations on the first day of Thank school. You. Cindy, great to have you Thank here. You. We're live in Paradise Hills this morning. Mary McKenzie, 10 News.